All right, folks, we are back here on Straight Out of the Cannon with me, Scott Cannon. I'm about to get out of here in about 10 minutes. But before I do, I want to talk about a very special historic anniversary that I believe has been very much lost in uh, the sands of time. I am talking about the Red Summer of 1919. How many of you have heard of that? Well, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's lots of people who have not heard about it. Well, this week was actually the 105th anniversary of the Chicago race riot, really the Chicago lynching, let's just be real, um, that happened in the year 1919 that really capped off a very violent, brutal summer in the year 1919. 19, uh, all over the country, black communities were targeted, were destroyed, were brutalized during this summer of 1919. And there's even a Gary, Indiana connection to the red summer of 1919. Now, the Chicago race riot that we are, that happened on this week, uh, 105 years ago, it started out on the south side of Chicago on July the 27th, 1919, and ended on August 3rd, 1919. During this whole situation, 38 people were killed. 23 of them were black, 15 white. Over the week, injuries attributed to the episodic confrontations were about 537. So over 537 people were injured two-thirds of them were black and 2,000 black people lost their homes this whole situation started when a young black boy named Eugene Williams he was 17 years old he had accidentally drifted into the white swimming area in an informally segregated beach near 29th Street in Chicago. A group of young black boys were diving from a 14 foot, nine foot raft that they had constructed, but the raft drifted into the unofficial white part of the air of the beach. And of course, being the haters that they were, the racist white beachgoers were indignant and started hurling rocks at these young men in the water. One of them struck Mr. Eugene Williams and caused this young man to drown. So an entire citywide brutal riot took place because a young boy accidentally drifted into the wrong part of the beach on a raft with his friends and they threw rocks at him until he drowned. Now, at this point, black beachgoers complained that white, racist whites had attacked them, and violence at this point expanded into black neighborhoods, where black neighborhoods were inundated with racist whites who attacked black citizens in the city of Chicago. The Chicago Police Department was engaged, they were called, but they turned a blind eye, or actually contributed to the violence. And this was just one of many incidents that was a part of the, the red summer of 1919. This might be the most high profile in uh, rural Georgia in April. There was the riot of Jenkins County that led to six deaths and arson all over. There was the Charleston riot in, on May 10th that resulted in the death of three black men. There was the race riot in Longview, Texas in July that destroyed the African-American housing district in the town. And even in Arizona, you don't even think about Arizona being all that racist. Nope. The African-American unit known as the Buffalo Soldiers, you guys know the Buffalo Soldiers, they were attacked in Bisbee, Arizona by the police. The police attacked them. That's what you get for trying to fight for America, I guess.
Also, you saw Garfield, the Garfield uh, Park riots in Indianapolis. There were riots in Washington, D.C., mob violence against black people throughout July in Washington, D.C. and Norfolk, Virginia. There was the Knoxville riots in Tennessee after the arrest of a black suspect on suspicion of da, 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 murdering a white woman. And so using that pretest, a lynch mob stormed the county jail where they liberated 16 white people prisoners who probably did murder white women <laughs> and then they attacked the african-american business district now notice they always attack the business di district they always pr attack they always attack the successful black communities during these types of riots and and mob hits in omaha nebraska in september there was a race riot in omaha nebraska where 10,000 white people attacked and burned the county courthouse to re to force the release of a black prisoner who was accused of da -da -da -da, raping a white woman. 10,000. They lynched the suspect without any due process. Then there was the Elaine, Arkansas massacre. When the resistance of the white minority against organized labor of black sharecroppers caused a riot because they feared that these black sharecroppers were socialist. And that's another thing to talk about when it comes to these types of things. The vilification of communism and socialism has always been about the fear that black people would be equal to them. And so that's why when you start seeing people vilifying socialism and communism as being so much worse than capitalism in this country there's always it's usually coming from the right wing in this country because specifically of that they don't want to have to be equal to you if you're a black person of course <laughs>